the Sioux 10th anniversary here at the Field Museum of Natural History. So excited because we're going to talk to Dr. Sue Hendrickson. Come on in with me. She's the one that found Sue the dinosaur. All of the exciting adventures are happening right inside these doors. complete, she's the largest, and she's also the best preserved. The quality of the bones are just, yeah. like she'd just been there, it's just really amazing. Um, so scientifically, when you have a nearly complete, she's 90%, yeah. you learn so much more because all the T-Rexes before, I think the best one was 50%, but we had an arm and hand, which had never been found complete, the leg, everything articulated, so they can really study that and all of her injuries, uh, by doing the CT scans of her skull, we found out her olfactory bulbs were just huge, her brain was small, uh, but she didn't need it, she had those teeth. <laughs> what was that feeling when you first kind of stumbled on, you know, a bone? Well, right, the initial part, there were five bones exposed and three of them were vertebrae articulated. I mean, they were still as in place as in life and they were going into the hill on both sides. So even then, there was a good chance of more bones. I mean, that was, yeah. that was huge. I've never even found one T-Rex bone. Usually nobody finds even part of a bone. It's, it's really rare. Um, but during excavation, we realized we had to take down 30 feet of rock off the top. But once we got down there and started uh, opening up the layer where she was, right. so she was she was all there. We didn't have to go half a mile away looking for bits and pieces. She had died in one spot, was rapidly covered by mud in a river. Wow. And, preserved, cut off the oxygen and she didn't deteriorate. So did you jump up and start screaming? Because that's what I would have done. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not a jumper and screamer, you know. No. Like, it was me and my dog and I was probably saying like, oh <laughs> <He didn't. laughs> No, but then I did pick up three scraps that show the hollowness and I had to walk a few hours to where the other guys were finishing digging up a triceratops skull. Because I knew if I showed up and said I found a T Rex I would nah because <laughs> you don't so, right, you don't plan on it, you know. Late in the day, I brought Pete over and showed it to him. And he is a jumper and scream. He was oh. jumping up and down. He was like, oh, it's all there. I just know it's all there. And See, someone had to jump and yeah, scream for that yeah. one. What would you love to find? Oh, well, in dinosaurs, I don't think anything will top her unless I find a family of T-Rex, right. which it's not going to happen twice in my life. <laughs> Um, but I work so much on shipwrecks, and we have two sunken cities in Egypt we're still excavating. Um, there was a shipwreck in the Philippines called the San Diego, uh -huh. sank in 600. I call it the Sioux of shipwrecks. Complete. The whole history is there. Awesome. Wow. So what I would really get excited about is another shipwreck. shipwreck. Uh, so are you? So you? Because you're a diver, so you go down there and. Well, mostly I'm a professional diver, and I work in marine archaeology with Frank Godio on the best underwater projects in the world. You know, that's how I earn money. Kids, you know, looking for dinosaurs, you probably won't get money. <laughs> so you have to be very passionate about it. Yeah. Dinosaurs, I, I'd always wanted to go in the summer, but that was my big diving season. I had a two-month season to make my money, yeah. and that was the same season that you go look for dinosaurs. So one year I finally parked my boat and went out west, and the next summer I sold my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sue. It's an amazing discovery. Good luck to your next finding. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Dr. Sue Hendrickson, what a fascinating lady. She found one of these. It's right there. But can you imagine being in the era of a dinosaur? Oh, my God. She made an amazing find. It is so cool being here at the Field Museum of Natural History. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Gina for Nude Himbo. <laughs> Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Good night, Mr. Walters. Tony, can you shut up? Meow. She is the biggest, baddest, carnivorous beast that ever lived, and I'm sure it's a she. <laughs>